Northern Lights are breathtaking if you've ever seen them in, in, in person. Mm -hmm. Experiencing it though, it's a whole different story, right? So now that we've reached the colder months, it will be easier to watch them light up the sky. Yes, and being in Michigan is a great place to be to see them because we are further north. It's a great way to check them out. The nighttime spectacle can also pose a real threat apparently to our way of life. So here's a closer look at that. A life changing bucket list experience. I had a friend who described it as an Aurora walking across the sky. You know, they're just kind of watching this movement and it, it was very sort of gradual and rhythmic. The Northern Lights, a stunning sight that could leave you speechless. It's just this incredible, rare natural phenomenon that brings movement and color and dancing to the night sky. Author and founder of the Facebook group Michigan Aurora Chasers, Melissa F. Kalen says, as the chase started for her after her twin brothers died in a tragic car crash. It was a year to the day after that that I woke up one morning and I saw a photo on the front page of the news um, of the Northern Lights and it looked like an angel's wings in the sky um, directly overhead and I I looked at the article and even the photographer called this on angel's wings. I thought wow, where was this taken? Um, you know, how do you see this? And when I looked at the location, I realized, holy cow, that happened while I was sleeping and right in my own backyard. From that day on, I was hooked. I was like, I have to learn everything I can. I want to see this for myself. I want to experience this with my own eyes. The hunt eventually led her to create the Facebook group almost two years ago helping members track down the phenomenon in real time. I had no idea how it was going to go. And within a couple months, we had 30,000 members. Now, nearly 60,000 people tune in regularly to see if the Aurora is on display in Michigan. And right now, we are approaching the peak of the solar cycle. Activity on the sun is expected to ramp up, so more chances to see the northern lights may be on the way. But the increase in activity comes with an increased risk. We're getting a solar storm warning. Abort EV1, abort EV2. Oh God. How much time do we have? A lot of people don't realize is that one of our remaining threats to society that could really have a large impact on our civilization is a solar storm or a geomagnetic storm, which is another word for the Aurora. Forewarned meteorologist Paul Gross says history shows how dangerous the Northern Lights can be. The event of all events was the Carrington event of 1859. There was a solar eruption so strong that the Aurora was seen as far south as Florida and it was so bright at night that there were people that came out at night and could read by the light of the Aurora. Some telegraph offices caught on fire as the lines got energized. Uh, there were some miners out west that actually, they got up thinking it was sunrise with a cloudy sky and they started making breakfast and coffee. Were that event to happen today, and that Carrington event is only a once every 500 year event. So if that were to happen today, it would have catastrophic impacts on things like satellites, communications, and things like that. So we, we don't want to see that kind of event today. On record, they have a G5 storm that happened in 2003, and this took out power for an hour in Sweden. The storm was so strong. And it also knocked out a number of satellites and caused damage um, to a lot of the materials we have in orbit. Um, so it's still a real danger that we have to protect against. Just remember that there are repercussions to those solar storms. And if it's a real strong solar storm, it can impact satellites, it can impact communications and things like that. So just kind of be careful what you wish for.